Hello, Cure Arthritis Nation, and welcome to Arthritis Now, brought to you by the Arthritis National Research Foundation. I'm your host, Kyle Langan, and today we're going to be talking to Dr. PJ Utz, Professor of Medicine at Stanford University. So sit back, relax, and open your mind as we bring you the latest news in arthritis. Now! Dr. Utz, welcome to Arthritis Now. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> no problem. Um, so if you could just kind of explain to us um, your title at Stanford and what department you are a part of. Certainly. I am a professor of medicine at Stanford in the Division of Immunology and Rheumatology. And I also run Stanford's MD-PhD program as the MSTP, the Medical Scientist Training Program Director. Um, and now you were funded by the Arthritis National Research Foundation 14 years ago? I was, that's right. And, and what kind of research did the grant that we provided allow you to do? Well, the grant uh, allowed me to study a particular molecule, uh, molecular complex called the U1 RNP complex. I realize that that's complicated, but mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a molecule that's really important in diseases like lupus, mixed connective tissue disease, and systemic sclerosis. And it allowed us to figure out which parts of the molecule were targets of the immune response. And it's work that I've continued to do even until this day. And, and what did that grant mean to you at that time in your life? What it really allowed me to do was to start a whole new area, which was uh, now what my lab is most known for, which are protein microarrays. For lay people like me and for a lot of our you know, viewers who don't understand a lot of the scientific um, you know, jargon, um, can you explain what um, the work you're currently working on is in a lay summary? Uh, it's very easy to do, I think. So my uh, patients who have autoimmune diseases, uh, and the main focus of my disease is on connective tissue diseases like lupus, okay. uh, those patients make autoantibodies. They have their immune system reacts against themselves, and they make antibodies that attack themselves. And so my lab uh, has developed methods to look at as literally hundreds of these molecules at one time to figure out which ones are bad, which ones are not bad. And our ultimate goal is to be able to predict response to therapy, to help us select drugs, and to figure out if patients are flaring. And for a patient who might be watching this video, what, what's important for you to know is that when a doctor like myself is seeing you in the clinic, for the most part, our lab tests are not very good and we have to guess whether or not you're going to, f to flare. We have no idea if you're going to respond to a drug, and the test that my lab is developing hopefully will allow us to rationally make predictions about this. What do you hope that your research can kind of provide for those suffering? Well, I think uh, in part it's to help patients know that we're, we're still trying to understand these diseases. We have a, a much better understanding now than we did 14 years ago. And I, I should also point out that my lab does a lot of work with clinical trials and samples from patients in our clinic. We, we have a registry of 2,000 subjects and uh, a repository of about uh, 800 or so samples from patients. So the work that we're doing in the lab is studying the very patients that I'm seeing in the clinic. Oh, wow. It's, it's definitely rewarding, and, and I think it, it helps the patients, too. I think the patients knowing that they're part of the answer right. is, is really important. I, I think patients, we, I, I thank patients when they, when they join the registry and repository. I show them data once, the, once we get it, and they have to realize that the only way we're going to solve these disorders is for them to actually participate in the research so that we uh, develop better treatments and better diagnostic tools. Hey guys, thanks for watching part one of our interview with Dr. Utz. Join us next time as we answer one of your questions. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out at curearthritis.org for more info on the foundation. So together, we can get one step closer to finding a cure.